Good morning, beautiful people. It is Joel McElhaney coming to you live. Today, I've looked at all of the sales activity over the last 30 days. Uh, what prompted me to do that was to try to determine whether or not most properties are selling at the ask price, above the ask price, or below the ask price. A lot of people have been asking me, Joel, is that still going on? Well, today I have the answer for you based on the last 30 days of sales out of our Realtor.ca MLS system. So, if you're curious about what values are, what's happening with values, stay tuned. Okay. <clears throat> so in the last 30 days, there have been 36 sales. And 64% of those have sold over the asking price. Interesting. A mere 3% sold at the asking price. And then we had a one third, 33% sold under the asking price. So why is it that two thirds are, of our inventory is selling over and one third is selling under? So you can kind of break the uh, market up into three sections. And it's interesting because 22% of the 64 are selling 20% more than the asking price. And then you have 11% between 10 and 20% over asking and 31% between one and 10% over asking. So even within the 64%, it's interesting that particular breakdown. So another thing that I really noticed was interesting was the days on market as it related to the price. So what I found was that uh, properties that sold for more than ask were around 22 days on market and on average. And these properties, this 33% that were selling below ask were double that, they were 40, 42 days on market. So there's an interesting correlation between how long something is sitting on the market and the price that we're getting for that property. Of course, the other thing of note would be location, which I have information here, and pricing strategy. So what we saw is the, the lower the price, the more activity the property got. So if you looked at where the property was, the average price, people that got the most priced themselves a little under or well under the average price to generate hype and interest. It is an interesting strategy and it clearly is working. The numbers don't lie. And then if we looked at, okay, Joel, where are all these properties selling? So of the 36, we had eight on the east side, five Ross Aquist Pamsis, five West in Musquash, five in Hampton, five in Kingston, four on the North End, which is Millersville and North, and four in Grand Bay. So there's definitely areas of the city where things are happening. And it's interesting, there's, uh, you know, there's certain parts of the city that we're just not seeing represented right now in the last 30 days in terms of sales. So people are looking in very specific pockets. I actually have the numbers for the breakdown in terms of sub-district. So when you look at North, for example, there's Milledgeville and there's North, and that's another interesting statistic um, in terms of what's happening there. So if you'd like to discuss more detail with me, I'd be happy to, but I won't bore you with all, <clears throat> all the specifics I dove into today. This almost ended up being a afternoon update because I just got into this Excel and I was running numbers and was like, wow, okay, if we're gonna get live, we better do that. Um, but I got a little carried away, but it's all good. It's good to be informed. I hope you found it helpful. Until I see you next week, keep being awesome.